This is a Cthulhu, a deck building game. It's a one to six player uh, game where you work cooperatively um, with, uh, you can play it on your own or you can play it cooperatively with five of your friends. Uh, you play as investigators, um, of which we have 22 in this, in this game. Uh, each, each investigator has their own backstory, they have their own special abilities, they have a health and sanity values that we, you can track using the trackers. Uh, you fight against uh, one or more of 11 different elder gods, uh, each one with their own special ability. Um, once you have defeated the elder gods or banished them from existence, because you never really defeat the elder gods, uh, you win the game. So the so game... You don't, you don't have to kill the, the minions. Not to not to win the game. Okay. You just have to uh, banish the elder. So the game is divided up into, into two phases. There's a planning phase and a combat phase. Um, during the during the planning phase, uh, each each investigator in turn takes takes the turn going through the planning. So at first, I'm going to draw five cards into my hand. Three, four, five. You start. Hey, you have a starter deck that you start with. Uh, the, this, this layout that I have right now is a game in progress. Uh, so the currency in the game is something called Moxie. Moxie is uh, both the, the, the things that you use to research parts in the library, but it's also what you use to fight against the bad guys. Uh, so you have to make sure that you're, you're balancing how much, um, how much Moxie you're keeping for combat as opposed to building your deck as, the, as it goes on. So I'm in the preparation phase, so I'm actually going to uh, uh, activate a card from my hand. It's, this is going to gain me three moxie. However, I'm also going to lose one sanity. If you lose, if you run out of sanity or if you run out of health, your game is over. You do, however, have an after-death ability that allows you to continue playing after the game. Uh, now that I've got my three moxie and I move into the research phase. In the research phase, I can purchase cards from the library, public library or research cards from the public library uh, and the cost is at the top corner. Because I'm the magician, the magician has a special ability to get spells for three less. So uh, I can actually work with my teammates to make sure that I get the spell that normally costs six. I can get it for three. Uh, once I've researched this, it goes directly into my hand. It's one of the uh, differences in this particular deck builder. You get new cards that go directly in your hand and not to your discard pile. But the card that you activated to do your research does go into the discard. Now I'm moving into final preparation, which is the final step for planning, where I can now look at the cards in my hand and I will activate them. These are usually defensive cards uh, as you're trying to get ready for combat. Um, so this card that I just, just researched, I'm able to activate called Protective Sigil, and it's going to uh, uh, negate all health damage from all investigations in the next round, which is a really powerful card. Um, then you would refill the library, and your, your other investigators would now also, they would go through the planning lines. Once all investigators have done all the planning, then you move on to the combat phase. In the combat phase, the Elder Gods go first. Um, there are 11 different Elder Gods, I think I've said that. Um, Cthulhu's thing is that every card you play during combat, you take a point of sanity damage, which is really bad. Um, next thing that happens is the Mythos deck. So each, uh, the, the bad guys have a deck of cards too that, that things, effects happen. So this one is Touch of Corruption. Yeah, Elder God uh, deals the investigator with the lowest sanity, IC times two health damage. IC stands for investigator count, uh, which is uh, how the game scales. So if you're playing one player, this would be one, one times two, which is two. If you're playing with six players, that would be 12 uh, points of damage. Yeah. So could the, you, if you bought multiple boxes, could you multiply? Uh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> That's certainly the thing you can do. Um, once the, the mythos is gone, then the minions go. The minions spawn either from uh, the Elder Gods or they spawn from the mythos. But mostly these guys, they attack either health or sanity. Um, but each one has their own little twist usually. 
for example, the tarantula, at the end of every combat round, if a tarantula is still alive, it spawns another one. So spiders can get out of hand very quickly if you don't, if you don't take care of them. So what's all the bad stuff, all the evil things have gone, then the investigators finally get to go. So I still have a hand of cards that I had during the planning phase that I kept for combat. I'm going to now activate them. So I'm going to get two here. That's three, four, five. So now I have five points of moxie that I can now use to research. Uh, I'm sorry, to, uh, to do battle against the, uh, the bad guys. So this is their health at the top, so the tarantula can be killed. Uh, he's got four health, blue flame is five, and the hardball is six. Or I can put that, those five points of damage against Cthulhu himself. Once he reaches zero, then uh, you win the game. And everybody's saved from this, from existence, from existence, from ending. Uh, once uh, combat's done, you do you do clean up where you discard uh, all your active cards. Uh, you can replace cards from the public library if you, as a group you decide to get rid of some. And then you go back to the top of the round. If you ever run out of cards to draw from your personal library, you take your discards, you shuffle them up, and you do that. This game is uh, available here at Gen Con. Uh, we're selling it for 60. Uh, we also have the play mats available uh, for 20. And also on October 3rd, we're launching um, we're launching a new uh, a Kickstarter for a standalone expansion. The, uh, the expansion is launching with Kickstarter on October 3rd, and it's a uh, it's got new Elder Gods, new investigators, new card templates. Uh, it's got new mechanics like, uh, for example, gear, which are going to be like permanent items that you can add to your uh, investigator. Uh, lots of things like that. The, the expansion will be able to be played by itself on its own or in combination with the original game. And if you go right now to uh, this website, lulu.launchrock.com, and sign up to get an alert when the, uh, the Kickstarter launches, we are offering a 35% coupon uh, on our online store uh, where the original game is available and also the playmat and other of our, of our, our products that we can buy.